Cryptography is facing quantum. Two fronts. One, data will become sticky. When you read it, you leave fingerprints and it's known. Two, computers getting faster. Why is it important? Computer get a little bit faster. That's okay. We can add a few more bits to the RSA key, etc. But if they go dramatically faster, I mean, order of magnitude, several order of magnitude faster, that's a problem. Why? Because modern cryptography relies on the assumption that computers are not much faster than we expect them to be. That's universal to the entire cryptography today. The assumption that computers may be a little bit faster, but not dramatically faster, because if they are, they crack everything. Every wire that the bank is sending, every national security message, every privacy, Bitcoin, nothing can survive a fast enough computer that will crack the ciphertext. And quantum computers are fast. Let me illustrate. A gun that shoots photons. An element of light. Through a wall with a hole. And here there is a photographic plate. The photon will come here. We keep shooting thousand photons. They all accumulate around here. Now, if we make another hole and cover this one and shoot other photons, we will have here a, an area on the photographic plate. And the same if we do a hole here and a hole here, every time one hole and we cover the rest. Nothing special. However, if we make those holes all together and we shoot one single photo, something weird happens. This single photo goes in parallel through all the opening, all of them, at the same time. We don't understand it, but it does. So if one photon here will do the work of a thousand. Now, what happens here on the photographic screen is different in both cases, but that's not the point. The point is that we have at the microcosm, nature works in parallel. That means that the computational efficiency, for example, if you search something in a key in thousand boxes, if you can open the thousand boxes, in parallel, you see the key right away. If you have to open them serially, one after the other, it takes much, much more time. That's the comparison between quantum and the Turing machine. And that's what we have to prepare for. It gives us great opportunity, but great risk. And we will see in the coming sessions how we handle this risk. Basically, we use a vaccine, a vaccine against quantum computers. The vaccine is quantum randomness. We use Turing machine with a lot of quantum randomness, and we will see how new generation of ciphers defend us against the threat 
of quantum computers. Stay tuned.